All right, today I'm uh, working late. I just uh, wanted to get back on this because I wanted to do the hat, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm using this folder out of my filing cabinet uh, for the uh, brim. Uh, the reason I use uh, file uh, folders is because it, it's coated or something kind of property of it. I don't know what it is. These green folders are, are make a great armature for uh, the the uh, brim because the brim is going to be small, you know, thin and all that stuff. And once you put clay on both sides and you got the thing cut out the, sh the shape of the brim, uh, it's it's amazing how you can shape the brim any way you want to with the right folds and everything. So that's what I use. First thing I got to do is start try to figure out. Uh, you know his head size so that I can uh, do the uh, the brim. Now I'm going to use my calipers to get the right shape of the head uh, width and all that stuff because I want the hat. It's not going to be on his head. It's going to be hanging on his back, but I want it to uh, at least match the uh, size of his head. I don't want the the uh, crown of the hat to be smaller than his head is. So I'm going to go with the length, and I'm going to go with the width of his head. And I'm not going by the hair. I'm going, I'm subtracting for the hair. So that's how wide the brim will be, or the uh, crown will be. Ah, my eye itches. Okay. So now I got the width and I got the length. I'm going to make a temporary crown for his head. And it's just temporary because it's going to be picked up and then laid on to the uh, paper of the uh, folder material. Now my cowboy is from about the 1880s to 1890s. I'm going to draw an outline for the hat or the, the crown. What I do is I take uh, the calipers and put it out to about the width I want which is about right there. It's not a sombrero uh, like in Mexico it's a uh, just a uh, typical cowboy hat. Alright I'm going to just follow the brim and, and lightly scratch the paper as I go around the outline that I made for the crown of the hat so that the brim is even all the way around. That's pretty good. Now I'll put that aside. I'll use uh, another part of that at some point. Now I'm going to cut out just a hole because if it's going to be on his back and any part of the inside of his crown is showing, I've got to have a hollow area for that crown. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. What I want to do is just put a thin layer of clay. You don't want to make it too thick. If you make it too thick then it uh, becomes, when you cast it in bronze, it uh, will be a little harder for them to, to uh, cast it. You don't want to make it too thin either because you don't want to see when they make the wax copy of the hat any daylight through the brim in the wax. So uh, you got to make it kind of get a hap happy medium, of probably about an eighth of an inch or a little bit less, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Alright, now I'm going to just uh, use the uh, serrated edge of this glyptic uh, tool that I got from uh, SculptureDepot.net and uh, just even out the surface a little bit and clean it up a little bit because it's since I just laid the clay on there it just uh, went on in clumps in some areas. Put the uh, crown of the hat on. 
and I cut within the circle inside what the crown was so that the crown would have something to sit on. Make sure it's all centered. There we go. I need to just attach it to the thing by blending it a little bit. And the hat would rise up to the crown. It's just the way they're constructed. Because when you pull it down over your head, it tends to make a kind of a slight rise up to the crown. So that's how you make the hat. I'm going to build up the crown and let me see if I got a picture here. I'll put this picture up on the video but I'm, I really like this one guy's uh, cowboy hat in the background. Uh, he's got kind of a, a Montana peak. But I, I like this style hat. Okay, the front is there so I'm going to raise the hat up like that. bring it down, make a depressed area back here for the hat. So it's got this kind of look here. Looking like a crown, if you can see it properly. This is where he's pressed in with his fingers and pulls the hat off with his hand. And so it sort of forms a, you know, where this head fits in here, but up here his fingers have uh, deformed the hat a little bit. Really easy to make a hat. You just have to know how they're structured and how they sit on the head. This is a typical uh, Stetson style hat for that period. I'm going to uh, shape the uh, inside of the uh, upper crease because it would have been shaped by a hat here or uh, whatever they call themselves. And I'm going to put just a little bit of a thing back here because that's how my hat goes all the time. You hit your head on something in, in the back and it always deforms it a little bit. I'm not worried about it being uniformly deformed, it's just the way it looks. And then I'm going to bend the hat like this and uh, lightly curl it up like that. And that's what the beauty of this uh, paper is, you can do that and it'll actually hold the shape. Okay. It looks pretty good and I'm going to bend it up in the back only because it uh, looks pretty good that way. And that's how you make a hat with even the cutout for his head. Alright, now I'm going to just uh, put the hat on his back. Yeah, that'll look good like that. And you see why I didn't take out a lot inside there. You don't want it too much. In fact, I'm going to, right where it crosses the back, I'm going to fill in that hole because you don't want it to have, you know, go the mold material to go way down inside the hat. You want it to uh, just go down to where you can't see it anymore. So I'm going to fill that in. Okay. Now I'm going to put a screw into the hat to hold it in place on his uh, back. start the screw. Get it in 
place. There we go. You see why I didn't go to a lot of effort to uh, work on the middle part of his back because quite honestly it was going to be covered anyway. So now you see why I put the hole for the brim or the crown. Uh, it shows through. Now I'll work on that hat later but for now I just wanted to get something on there to show me what it was going to do and how we were going to do it. I just did want to make a real-time video of me working on the uh, the hat instead of a sped up video and I just figured this would be a good thing to do it on just a little short subject and that's the hat so all right everybody have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow